Ciao. Hey guys, welcome back to Turquoise Theory, and today we're going to be talking about the delights of props stock characters. Now there are seven of these stock characters that prop bangs on about, but I've singled out four of them because I never really used all seven of the stock characters in essays. I think it's easier to devote your attention closely to a smaller amount of them, if that makes sense. So yeah, the examples that I'm going to use are going to be from A-level media text, Kiss of the Vampire, and in future I'm going to do a print analysis of Kiss of the Vampire, so stay tuned for that. So Prop's first stock character is the hero, and the example of the hero can be seen in the Kiss of the Vampire poster um, through the woman with her fist raised in the air, which is a symbolic code of female empowerment, and therefore she can be seen as the hero. The second stock character is the villain, and the villain can be interpreted in the Kiss of the Vampire poster as the man dressed in red and black. And through these colour codes, which connote anger and evil, anchored by the moody mise-en-scene, this is what creates that narrative as him as the villain, Prop would argue. And the third stock character is known as the princess. And the princess is known as the reward or prize for the hero. And something else that isn't in the kind of official definition of props, but I found through looking at a lot of media texts, is the princess can often be presented as vulnerable or powerless. So in the instance of Kiss of the Vampire, um, the man in the shirt and smart suit trousers who is resigned on his knees can be seen as the princess. As the empowered female hero has the prize of being able to do what she likes to him as a reward for her strength, he is, you can see in that poster, he's essentially at her mercy, making him what Prop would call the princess. And finally, there is the donor. And the donor, Prop says, helps the hero by providing a gift with magical properties. So the donor in this instance can actually be seen as the producers Hammer Film and Universal, as they are providing a gift by encoding a representation of female empowerment, which was seldom seen in media texts of this era, the 1960s, and making that female protagonist the hero. In doing that, they are the donor. So I hope that helps, guys. Till next time, goodbye.